Welcome to my Therapeutic Lifestyle channel. First, before anything else is said, I want to thank you all for taking the time out to come into the life of CJX. It's my pleasure to bring you guys a therapeutic lifestyle, which will consist of therapeutic fitness, therapeutic massages, therapeutic food preparations, and other therapeutic content daily. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell at the top of the channel. You don't want to miss a therapeutic touch on your life what's up what's up what's up my therapeutic people how y'all living out there today we're gonna be making some veggie burgers i hope y'all ready to eat first we're gonna go with the black beans this is to do a test run to see you don't want to put all the black beans in there so about two scoops of one third cup and everything is rinsed off and drained make sure you rinse off your rice and your cornolia and this is cooked rice and cornolia brown rice organic and we're just going to mash it up And I got a lot over here because I don't know how many that I'm going to make. So just do it as you feel you need to. And some people use a ninja blender or you can crush it like so. To get that patty form. Right, you guys so i decided that i'm gonna make about six or seven veggie burgers so i added all of my rice and quinoa mix and my black beans again this is organic quinoa and brown rice cooked so i'm just mashing it together or you can use a ninja blender to blend all the ingredients together to form a patty Now I'm moving on to my mushrooms. I really don't like that many mushrooms. So here I just use two to three. But whatever you feel that you need to put in your mixture. Do as you please. Put as much as you like. This is your veggie burger. Next, I'm moving on to my bell pepper. I'm soaking them in white vinegar and water to clean them. Make sure you clean all your vegetables. Scrub it up dub. Get all the contaminants out of there. Now I'm just chopping it up. And you can either chop it up like so, or you can use a chopper, putting the big pieces in. You can either thin slice it or medium slice it. Right now, I'm doing small slices. And voila! An easy chopper. Instead of chopping with your knife, you can use a chopper like so on the small side so you can get all of it in your patty. Like so, like that.
Now I'm just going to dump it into our mixture. And chopping it so it can all bind together to form a patty. So again, we have brown rice, cornoya, black beans, mushrooms, and green bell peppers. You can also use red bell peppers, orange bell peppers, or yellow. That's like more of a sweet type of pepper, but I wanted a spicy burger. It's already looking like some meat. Now we're going to move on to our seasonings. We have ground cumin, organic garlic powder, organic onion powder, 100% natural fresh ground pepper, 100% sea salt, and organic tomato paste. So we're going to do about three teaspoons of tomato paste and this keeps our mixture bind together and also for the flavor now we're just going to stir it up and start to add our seasonings. And it doesn't matter what order you put the seasonings in. Again, all of the ingredients are gonna be in the description below. Now we're just going to stir it all together. It's already looking like some substitute meat. Look at there. Wouldn't even know it wasn't meat. Now we're going to add us some breadcrumbs. Again, this is another binder to form the patty so it could stay together. Or you can use brown rice flour. It doesn't matter. I just chose to use breadcrumbs and tomato paste. but you can also use brown rice flour. Now I'm taking it and forming it into a patty. First I'm rolling it and then I'm gonna squeeze down to form a circle. Or you can make it as small or as big as you please. I decided to make mine's medium form. And again, you can come back and add to it if you don't like that certain size. Like so, I decided that 
with some left over so I went back and added some more mixture to it to make them all even And again, you can make them any size you please. This is just how I make my veggie burgers. Like so, like that. Now I'm cleaning off my sweet potatoes. So we can peel them and make sweet potato fries. Again, this is white vinegar and water mixture to keep your vegetables clean. And I'm just peeling them and I'm using my scraps for compost. And I'm putting them over to the side so we can use them later in our garden. I'll show you in another video on how to add your compost to your garden. And it doesn't matter how thin or how thick you want your sweet potato fries. This is just how I'm cutting them. I want them to look like real french fries. So I decided to do a thin cut. Now I'm going to add some grapeseed oil. So our 100% natural sea salt and natural fresh ground pepper can stick to our sweet potato fries. I'm just mixing up the grapeseed oil so it can all get on our sweet potato fries so it could be easier for it to stick. And again, you can make them any size you please. This is just how I choose to make my fries. Now I'm adding 100% natural sea salt. Now I'm adding 100% fresh ground black pepper. Now I'm mixing it all together so it can stick to all of the sweet potato fries. Now that I mix them all together, I'm spreading them out on our air fryer at the bottom. And since the sweet potatoes take longer to cook, I'm putting them on the bottom of the air fryer. Then make sure it's all spread it out so it won't stick together. Then make sure it's all spread it out so it won't stick together. Now I'm inserting the rack to put our veggie burgers on top.
Mmm, it looks yummy already. And since five only could fit on the top, I'm going to come back and add the two after they're finished. Now that we're finished in putting our veggie burgers and sweet potato fries, I'm putting the lid on there. The time that I put on there is 15 minutes on 350. But you want to come in periodically to check on it because it might be finished before 15 minutes or it might need an extra five minutes. Here I have another example of an air fryer that you can use. I just chose to use the one on the right because it's better and it, I feel that it cooks faster and you can actually see your food getting cooked. That's why I chose the one on the right, but you can also use the one on the left. But for you, it's whatever you decide. After 10 minutes, I see that it was getting a little dry, so I added some grapeseed oil to the top just a little so our burger wouldn't dry out and you can come back if you have extra burgers on the side you can come back and put them on your burgers so you don't have to wait until you add them to the air fryer to do it. You could pre-do it before you add them. So it could be easier for you. Alright, and it's looking about done. So now you're going to take you a spatula that doesn't have any holes in it. So you won't break your burger and place it on foil. You're going to gently... Place the spatula under the veggie burger and scoot it like so, so it won't fall apart. Carefully remove the veggie burgers. Make sure you periodically Move the fries around so it won't stick together and so they can evenly cook. Now I'm just adding the rest of the veggie burgers that couldn't fit. Again, 15 minutes on 350. Or you can keep them on an additional 5 to 10 minutes for the fries. Again, they will cook longer than the veggie patties. Now, let's taste our veggie burger. I have some white organic buns. First, we're going to lay out our buns. And then we're going to add our veggie burger on top. I got these white organic buns from Whole Foods Market. Also, I got other ingredients from Whole Foods Market. I got some organic yellow mustard, organic mayonnaise, and some organic culture dill sandwich slice pickles. And also I got some plant-based cheddar, vegan, non-GMO. 
now we're just going to place our veggie burger on our bun and I have some lettuce also that I soaked in some white vinegar and water to clean now I'm just wiping the excess off so it can dry so we won't have a soggy burger now I'm taking our plant-based non-GMO vegan cheese 